Meghan Markle and Prince Harry spark vicious row as Sussex's disrespect Queen. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have disrespected Queen Elizabeth II after announcing they would step down as senior members from the royal family, according to commentator Lizzie Cundy. Meghan Markle, 38, and Prince Harry, 35, will officially step down as senior members of the royal family on March 31 after finishing the last of their royal engagements. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex intend to split their time between the UK and North America and become financially independent but the Queen has banned them from working under the title, Sussex Royal. The royal couple announced they wouldn't use the title but insisted there is no law against them doing so. The statement has divided public opinion as Lizzie Cundy believes Meghan and Harry have not shown any respect to the Queen. Speaking on True Royalty, royal expert Homad Scobie said, some people have accused them of perhaps throwing shade at Princess Beatrice and Eugenie because they work and take on engagements privately. I would actually look at the working model that the Kents work under, Prince Michael of Kent, the Queen's first cousin. He takes on hundreds of engagements a year. He also takes on commercial endeavors. I think the couple expected something like that. Ems Cundy interjected, Prince Harry is a senior royal. I think they haven't shown respect to the Queen. I think a lot of people feel the same as me. In the statement, Harry and Meghan said, while there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use any iteration of the word royal in any territory. Ms. Cundy previously claimed friends of the Queen's grandson said Harry wouldn't be acting out if it wasn't for Meghan. Speaking to Dan Whitten on talk radio, Ms. Cundy said, I do believe if Harry hadn't met Meghan he would still be here, he would still be in the UK and I think he would want to be here. We know he's been upset with the media, we know what happened to his dear mother. I prayed and thought that Meghan was going to be the next Princess Diana but she wasn't. We love the charity work they do. Host Mr. Wooten interjected, but you're blaming Meghan. I blame them both. Ms. Cundy continued, I know from his friends a change in Harry since meeting Meghan. It's Harry, he's a grown man of course. He made the decision to leave. He wants to be with his wife and child who he loves very much, I understand. She went on to claim every friend of Harry she knows has said the same to her. Queen Heartbreak Meghan Markle and Harry's royal legs at left family at very low e.b.b. apostrophe. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's relations with the rest of the royal family are at a very low ebb and the couple's actions have left the Queen sad, according to a royal expert. Richard Fitzwilliams offered a damning insight into the breakdown of relations between the world's most famous family after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to exit the royal family and move to Canada. The royal expert told Express.co.uk how the difficulties surrounding Megxit has started to take its toll on the 93-year-old Queen. He said the Queen would certainly be sad after the couple's very public criticism following her decision to ban them from using the Royal Sussex brand. Mr Fitzwilliams also revealed how he believed the monarch would monitor the couple's next steps closely. He said, I think that relations between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family are at a very low ebb, especially since Harry and Meghan's public criticism of their agreement with the Queen on their website and Harry's subsequent speeches. The security issue has raised its head and whereas they will undoubtedly get it, precisely who will pay and how and what level it will be at remain pivotal questions. The Queen reasserted her authority at the Sandringham summit and will be monitoring events over the next year after which the arrangement with the Sussexes will be reassessed. She is certainly sad at developments, she made that clear in her deeply personal statement. His remarks come as Meghan and Harry prepare for their last royal engagements in the UK this month. But Mr Fitzwilliams said the Queen would brush off Megxit and the House of Windsor would again reinvent itself because the head of state has known many crises during her 68-year reign. He added, she has known many crises during her reign, especially in the 1990s and it is essential that, amid the media furor over this crisis, that we do not forget the extraordinary capacity of the House of Windsor to reinvent itself. The row between the Queen 
Prince Harry and Meghan erupted last month when the monarch reportedly banned the couple from using the term royal in any of their future commercial ventures. But in an extraordinary update on their Sussex royal website, Meghan, 38, and Harry, 35, hit back insisting the Queen did not own the word. In an update, the couple stated they did not intend to use the term, but took a jibe at the palace by pointing it could be used outside the UK. On the couple's Sussex's website they released a statement which said, while there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex Royal. Meghan and Harry had hoped to continue using the Sussex Royal brand after investing in a new website and building up a strong Instagram presence while still working members of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had hoped to continue working for the Queen in a reduced capacity but, following crisis talks with the monarch and other senior family members, they agreed to give up their roles and titles completely. The couple are now said to be planning on spending most of their time in Canada where they hope to bring up their firstborn son, Archie Harrison.